lesson 12.6, Measures of Center. Essential question, how can you describe a set of data using mean, median, and mode? A measure of center is a single value used to describe the middle of a data set. A measure of center can be a useful way to summarize a data set, especially when the data set is large. Unlock the problem. Kara made a paper airplane. She flew her airplane six times and recorded how long it stayed in the air during each flight. The times and seconds for the flights are 5.8, 2.9, 6.7, 1.6, 2.9, and 4.7. What are the mean, median, and mode of this data? So we're going to look at this box first to the right. What unit of time is used in the problem? And it would be seconds. So we're going to write seconds here. How many flight times are given? So that's how many numbers of times did they take data down? So we just have to count how many numbers that there are. One, two, three. Four, five, six. There were six flights. Find the mean, median, and mode. The mean is the sum of the data items. So that's the sum, which means they're added all the way up. Add all of the numbers up and then divide, divided by the number of data items. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Add all of these numbers up. And remember, if you normally use a calculator, this would be a time that you need to use your calculator. Okay, so I want you to use your calculator to add these numbers up. And then once you add all of the numbers up, you get 24.6. Now you go back and you look at how many numbers do we have? How many flights did they take in this data set? And that number would be six. So we put that number here, and then we bring it just straight over in the problem. Now what we have is we need to take the total number that we added all together, and then we need to divide the number of flights. So we're going to have 24.6 divided by six. So six goes into 24. Four times, bring my decimal point straight up. Four times six is 24. Subtract, I get zero, and I bring down my six. Six goes into six one time, and six. So my answer here is 4.1. And then your label would be seconds. Okay? The next part is the median. The median is the middle value when the data are written in order. If the number of data items is even, so if it's even, that means that there's going to be two middle numbers. If it's even, then you add up those two and then find the mean of those two. Order the values from least to greatest is the first thing you have to do. So they take all the numbers up at the top and then they Put them in order from least to greatest, from smallest to largest. 1.6, 2.9, 2.9, 4.7, 5.8, and 6.7. The data set has an even number, okay, because we've counted them all up, and that was six, of values. So the median is the mean of the two middle values. Circle the two middle values of the data set. So that would be three and four, the third and the fourth item in the data set. Now we're going to add those two numbers up. So 2.9 and 4.7. Okay, and then there's two numbers. Okay, now once I add those up, I get 7.6 which is correct, and then there are still two numbers. So now I have 7.6 divided by two. 7.6 divided by two. 
2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. I've got one left. Bring down the 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times. So 3.8 seconds is going to be the median. Now the mode is the data value or values that occurs most often. So here all we have to do is look at our data set. And if we look closely at our data set, we're going to see that we have two numbers that show up twice. Everything else, all of the other numbers, just show up one time. So this one's easy. We just have to look and pay attention to the data set. We don't have to do any math at all. So 2.9 occurs twice. All the other values occur once. So 2.9 is the mode. Example one, Mrs. O'Donnell's class has a fundraiser for a field trip to a wildlife preservation. Five of the donations are $15, $25, $30, $28, and $27. Find the mean, median, and mode of the donations. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add up all of these numbers to find the mean. So 15, 25, 30, 28, and 27. And again, you can use your calculator on this. Okay, now we have to go back and we have to count how many numbers there are. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five numbers. So we're going to put the number five at the bottom. That's the number we're going to be dividing by. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it down. So once I add those up, I'm going to get 125. And then so then I have 125 divided by 5. And you guys can do that. Divided by 5. 5 goes into 12 twice. 2 times 5 is 10. 2. Bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25. 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. So your mean, your average, is $25. Now, the next thing we need to do is order the data from least to greatest and find the median. So let's now look at the numbers that I've highlighted in your data set. We're going to start at the very smallest number and we're going to work our way up until we get to the largest number and all of the numbers are accounted for. So we have 15, 25, and if, as you work through this, it might be smart for you to just cross out the number so then you know what you've already um, used. So 15 I've used, 25 I've used, 27, cross that out, 28, cross that out, and 30. Now, all we have to do is pick the one in the middle. This time I only have five numbers, so there's two on this side, and there's two on this side, so I do have a middle number. So this one's easy. I don't have to do any math. I just have to choose the middle number, and that's $27. If all of the values in the data set occur with equal frequency, then the data set has no mode. This data set has no repeated values, so there is no mode. If you look back up at the data set, all of these numbers, 15, 25, 27, 28, 30, there are absolutely no repeated numbers in the data set. So when there's no repeated numbers, no repeated values, there is no mode. When there's no repeated values, there's no mode. Okay. Example two. Keith surveys his classmates about how many brothers and sisters they have. Six of the responses were 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, and 0. Find the mean, median, and mode of this data. So the first thing we need to do is find the mean. That's finding the average, and that we have been doing um, for a few different lessons so far. So we're getting pretty good at that. We're going to add them all up. So 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, and 0. So this one you really don't even have to have a calculator to do. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So my total here is 9. Now I need to count how many numbers there are in this set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 
are six numbers in the set, so six goes down here, and it gets taken straight over. Now I'm going to do nine divided by six, goes in there one time, one times six is six, and I have three. Remember, when they don't divide equally, you just add a decimal point and you just keep going. Add a zero, placeholder zero, bring down the zero, and then six goes into 30, five different times, five times six is 30, and zero. So your answer here is going to be 1.54, the mean, your average. Order the data from least to greatest to find the median. So let's look at the top. We have zero. Let's cross that out. We have one. We have another one. We have two. We have another two. And then we have a three. Okay, now all those are accounted for. And again, if you notice, I crossed out the number at numbers as I went. Okay, now, if you look at, we have six numbers in our data set, which means there's not a number in the middle. There are two middle numbers. There's two on this side, two on this side, so that means there are two in the middle, which is one and two. So we need to add up one and two, which is two, and how many numbers are here? There are two. So two, oh, sorry, three, sorry. One plus two is three, and then there are two numbers here, so three, Divided by 2 is 1 and a half. So again, you can do 3 divided by 2. 2 goes into 3 one time. 2, 1, add a 0, and a decimal point, point 0.5. There's with your work right there. The data values 1 and 2 appear twice in the set. If two or more values appear in the data set the most number of times, then the data set has two or more modes. So the modes here are 1 and 2. Sharon show. Terrence records the number of emails he receives per day. During one week, he receives 7, 3, 10, 5, 5, 6, and 6 emails. What is the mean, median, and mode of the data? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the mean. So we know that is average. We need to add them all up, and then we need to divide by how many numbers that there are. Okay, on this one I want you guys to use your calculator. And you are going to add 7, 3, 10, 5, 5, 6, and 6 up. You're going to put those numbers into your calculator. Okay, after you add all of those up, you should have gotten a total of 42 as your total. That is all of the data numbers added up. Now we need to count how many numbers that there are in the data set. So let's use my highlighter here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now we're going to take the number that we had total, we're going to divide that by six. Okay, and we know that 42 is 6 times 7. So 6 goes into 42 7 times. Okay. So your answer here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry, I miss, I made a mistake. I mixed those numbers around. You're, okay, so you have 42 as your total, but you need to divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You divide by 7, and then you get 6 as your answer. 6 times 7 is 42, and you have 0. Okay. So your mean is going to be 6. All right, so now there are 7 numbers, which means we're going to have a number that falls directly in the middle because we have an odd number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's going to be 3 on one side, 3 on the other side. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do before you circle a number, I got ahead of myself, is you're going to put all the numbers in order from least to greatest. So do that first, and as you notice, I went ahead and I did that, but when I did that, every time I used a number, I crossed it out. That way I know I didn't miss a number or skip a number. That is a very, very easy mistake to make. 
Now, I need to go back and look. Two, three, one, two, three, and then it's the middle number. So your median here is six. Now, the next thing we need to look at is most. We're going to look at what number occurs the most. Well, there are two here that occur twice. The number five occurs twice in the data set, and the number six occurs twice in the data set. So here, we're going to have five and six for our mode that occurs the most. That's how I remember it. Okay, number two. Julie goes to several grocery stores and researches the price of a 12 ounce bottle of juice. Find the mean, median, and mode of the prices shown. Okay, once you can figure the mean, median, and mode, you need to show your teacher number two before you get started on number three, because number two is just as difficult as number three on your own. So go ahead and figure mean, median, and mode. I want you to put all of your work down other than what you did on the calculator, but still write down the steps that you took to get the answer to each part of the problem. And you should end up with the mean as $1.21 the median as $1.04, and the mode at $0.99. Cents. Okay, so that means you need to have three pieces of work, the mean, the median, and the mode. 